looks like the option to gain a more holistic overview of HMIS and its various tabs, buttons, and whistles. We appreciate the interest. Let's start with the very basics. What is the HMIS and what is Service Point? HMIS is short for the Homeless Management Information System. This is a program developed by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, to better track homelessness in the country and also develop better ways to address homelessness. Each community is allowed to select its own platform or software to host HMIS. In our community, we use ServicePoint. So in short, HMIS is the program, and ServicePoint is a software that hosts HMIS for us. As you can see in your screen, in the upper left corner, it says ServicePoint. We are currently on the home screen. The rest of the video will focus on the various tabs, modes, and buttons you may see throughout ServicePoint. Please remember, your screen may look a little different than what is presented here. This is because each agency can customize the view available for its users. Let's start with the home page. The first thing we see is System News. So System News is updated by the HMIS team. It includes trainings, it includes forms, and includes our contact information. As you can see, we're available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can email us or text us. or Give us a call, I suppose. You'll also see agency news. So these are items that are updated not by the HMIS team, but by your own personal agency. Uh, they can add links here, policies, updates to the organization, uh, but that will be anything updated by your agency. In the upper left corner here, you'll see your own program. So I'm the HMIS training program but if you work for a different agencies such as CAS, you would see CAS listed up here. You also see the current date here. And on the upper right, you'll see your name as well as your user role. Most people are agency admins or case manager twos. That just indicates what sort of access you have in Service Point. Now below, we see three additional tabs or buttons. The first one is Shadow. So agency admins only will see this. This is Shadow. And basically what we can do here is this allows you to search for other users and then you can shadow their account. In other words, you would have the same access privileges as that person and you would see what they're seeing. So if you had a user that was having errors or trouble entering data, you could shadow their account, try to recreate the error and, and see what the issue is. We also have enter data as mode and this is what allows you to go into different projects. And we also have backdate mode which allows you to enter a historical date. And if you go to a back date, you'll see a yellow, the bar turn yellow at the top. We'll cover enter data as and back date more in future trainings. Now, let's see, uh, let's see what's on the left hand of the screen here. So I'll go back to the home page. And we have the home button, which we've already discussed. We also have client point. This is where you would search for and or enter a client into HMIS if they're entering HMIS for the first time. This will be discussed in the HMIS further in further detail. Uh, resource point is the database that 211 Arizona uh, uses and you can search for various uh, resources throughout the entire state of Arizona. So for example, search for food bank, click enter, and this will list the food banks uh, that come up. If I click on show advanced options, I can narrow down my search results. But this is just where you would find resources that if you're looking for any. Shelter point is where you can add and modify beds. Scan point is where you can add services for clients. Reports are where you can run reports that are just pre-created or they're called just pre-created reports. You may have a different set of reports based on your access. Agency admins will have more report access um, than case manager twos. And admins, if you're an agency admin administrator, you may have a few options to go ahead and reset passwords um, and look at more data. If you're not an agency admin, you may not have access to all of these buttons and you may not see them at all. So let's go back to the home screen here. Now all the way to the right side here, we have three more little buttons here. There's this question mark button, which if you hover it says help. And whatever page you're on, it'll come up with a glossary of information and terms to give you more information about Service Point. Please note this might not be the most up to date, um, but it should be pretty recent. We also have the star here. If you're on a client's profile, you'll click in the star to add them as a favorite. A favorite section is right on the other side here. So you can see I've already had one client added as a favorite here. 
And to do that, I just have to click on the star to add them to the favorite. And the circle with the exclamation mark, that just indicates you have currently unread news, under system news, or agency news. And once you read it, that will stop highlighting. Most like this point, I don't have any new news to read. So let's go ahead and see uh, let's see what else we're looking at here. So I'm going to jump to the client's profile. And by jumping to the client's profile, we'll see what other kind of items and buttons and options that we have in their profile. So let's jump there. So we'll click under the favorites. And here's my client. Now, there's a various tabs up here. So the first tab we have is the client information and all the associated tabs here. So we won't go into detail about what each tab does because we will cover that in further trainings. But to give you a brief overview, we will cover what each of these tabs means. So summary tab, this basically sums up the rest of the tabs that you see on the screen and just gives you a quick view of the client. The client profile gives some client information, their client demographics, and various notes and uh, attachment options if your agency uses them. They're not required in HMIS, but some agencies do utilize those functions. Households is where you can create a household. So it looks like this person has a household created. ROI, this means releases of information. So this tab is especially important for balance of state users. Without a release of information, your client's information will not be shared in balance of state. In Maricopa, it's not required to add this information electronically. So Maricopa is okay with not adding it electronically, but for balance of state users, you must add this. We'll cover this in a further training in the HMIS introductory series. The entry exit tab is where you do the bulk of your data entry. The case managers tab is where you can add yourself as a case manager. Case plans so where you can create goals. You can also add file attachments. And the measurements, you can add measurements such as the SPDAT, the FSPDAT, and the assessments tab is not really used by most agencies anymore, and most agencies likely won't even see the assessments tab. Now, this was all under client information. We also have services transactions, so we'll jump there. And here's where we can add various other items. So we can add services or multiple services. We can add referrals. A referral is when you cannot provide a service, and so you have to refer the client to another agency to provide a service. And the last three buttons here allow you to go ahead and view any kind of previous items you've done under the Service Transactions tab. Let's take a quick look here. So let's jump back to the home, and we'll ma minimize the favorites. And so that's the gist of most of the buttons and tabs in HMIS. We did go through some of those pretty briefly, but as I said, through the HMIS introductory training and the case management training, all those will be covered, but that's just a general overview of what HMIS has to offer and the various buttons and tabs you may see. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your training.